Hi, Dr. Pierce again. We're uh, discussing a little bit more about neuron bodies. And this time we're looking at the part of the brain, different parts of the brain. These neuron bodies are beautiful when you see the nerve tracks that come from them and go to different organs and tissues. But these neuron bodies, once again, have the same dendrites that receive information. They have the same axons that send out information to other neuron bodies. But these neuron bodies have very technical names, and they're all about this long. We'll just use this one as an example. This one is called the nucleus of Darkowitz, or sometimes it's called the substantia Niagara. But this particular neuron body produces dopamine. And when, you, when it stops working, at its full efficiency, your dopamine levels drop. And when your dopamine levels drop, it causes Parkinson's disease. And um, of course, the, the Parkinson's disease creates an involuntary tremor. So usually if you see people that are just tremoring uh, involuntarily, it's due to uh, Parkinson's disease, a lack of dopamine. Okay, let's look at this other neuron body. This neuron body, is the neuron body for autism. Uh, and that's getting to be an important issue nowadays. Let's look at this neuron body. This neuron body is the neuron body for MS. And MS, what it is, is the nerve sheath surrounding the nerve uh, that stimulate the voluntary muscle develops little holes in it, thereby creating a tremor. Only in this case, it's a voluntary tremor. So you can tell there's, this one's an involuntary tremor and this one's a voluntary tremor. Then over here we have another uh, very important one. This is schizophrenia. So the interesting factor in all of this is that we, it has been shown by research that, and they know for sure that if stem cells are injected into these different neuron bodies, they can absolutely show a decrease of all of these symptoms of schizophrenia, uh, of Parkinson's disease, of autism, and of MS. 